Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the POCO M4 Pro 5G. Okay, uh, very nice. We will have already a pre-installed file explorer. It is named File Manager. It is this one here. So just tap on it. And then we will have here a nice overview, by the way, um, about all your images, videos, docs, and so on. And also the last uh, data here. Okay, but we will to transfer data, we will need this uh, bar here and this folder especially here. Okay, here above also a nice overview about your storage with the data you've used and also your SD card. And the storage means the internal storage, of course. Okay, now we are basically here on the internal storage, as, as you can see here. Now, these are all your folders here on the internal storage. And I would recommend to you to transfer first uh, the pictures and videos so of your camera because this kind of data takes a lot of storage. Okay, let's go here now to the DCIM folder because this is the folder where camera pictures and videos are in. Then you go here on camera. So now you will see all your pictures and videos you have shooted with your camera. Okay, then go here just on that point here to mark the pictures you want to transfer or if you go here on this symbol, you can mark them all. No? So, and then you are, will have here the point to move them. No? This is uh, the best way because you can move them uh, completely so that they are deleted here on the internal storage and go directly to your SD card or if, if you go on more, you have also the opportunity to just copy them if you want to have a copy for the safety and so on. Eh? But we will, as we want to move them here, so tap on move. So, and now he will gives you the opportunity to put it here to uh, another folder in the internal storage or at the SD card, what you want to do, or also to some, um, yeah, to some, uh, uh, no? Clouds, cloud services, I'm sorry. So to the Google Drive here, maybe. Okay, but we want to transfer this in this um, example here to the SD card. So now we are on the SD card. Um, my SD card have already existing folders because it's nice to have uh, uh, some categories and so on. And um, I've also already a DCM, DCM folder here on my SD card because I've used it already. I would really recommend to you to have folders here. If you don't have a folder, just tap here on more. And here you can create folders. As I said, I really recommend this to you to have later a better overview. Okay, I have already an existing DCIM folder. Um, I enter it. Ah, I still have to wait because uh, this uh, SD card is already full. And um, yeah, then uh, I go here on camera. I still have to wait a bit because as I said, uh, I've chosen a very full SD card. As you can see, I have many pictures here. Okay, and then I just go here on paste and then the phone will transfer um, the uh, marked pictures before and videos from the internal storage now here to the folder in the SD card. Okay, if you want to go back or let us go back here to the uh, internal storage because I want to show you something else. So just go here to the internal storage and go on the arrow here, go then on the internal storage. Uh, because the same thing I've shown you with files, you can do also with folders. No? If you want to transfer a complete folder, just go on the folder you want to transfer and hold the folder like this. And then you can see it is marked. And now you can mark also some other folders like the download folder and so on or the movie folder. But please take care that you don't uh, take um, folders which, uh, which one contains operating system data like the MUI folder here. Now you can see that here because this is uh, forbidden to have uh, that because you can destroy the system with and we don't want to, uh, we don't want that. Um, but basically you can transfer folders and then you don't have to mark everything by its own. Um, yeah, but just as I said, uh, uh, take Folders which, which one only contains uh, files like uh, music or videos, uh, 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 pictures, you know, and uh, documents, and so on. I think you know what I mean. Okay, that's it. I think uh, you got it. And uh, I want to show you something else uh, about the camera because uh, let us enter the camera. 
because you can set up here also something. If you go here now on the hamburger menu, then you just go to the settings here. And then we can set up something here as well. Because this point here, no? save to SD card. This point is also important because uh, that means that your future pictures and videos from the camera will go directly to the SD card. And that will uh, save also time because then you don't have to transfer it all the time and so on. If you enable this one here, your future pictures and videos will go directly to the SD card. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. So thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in like tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.